Yo, what's up YouTube, YouTube world? I'm back here with another video. Today what we're gonna be taking a look at is my homemade ultimate tripod dolly desktop workstation. I haven't never seen no one on YouTube do anything like this right here. I'm thinking about possibly launching a new YouTube channel. I don't know when that channel will be uh, released. Uh, I have the channel made, but I don't know if I want to go by creative DIY, creative minds, I, whatever I'm saying. Um, it's like I got a few names already uh, that I want to use, but I'm unsure of uh, which name I'm going to use. This right here is the ultimate, the ultimate tripod dolly. It can mount your laptop, it can mount your GoPro, it can mount your camera, your camcorder, um, it can mount your phone, it can um, mount your tablet, it can mount your, um, I have a newer light, I forget the exact uh, name of it, something 60, N60 or whatever, uh, I throw a uh, a notation or a picture of it right about now uh, but yes this right here it can do some of everything also uh, you can't see it but right down here um, this right here can be used as you know your workstation uh, say like if I'm let's just say if I'm uh, <clears throat> doing a disassembly or something I can uh, automatically just mount my GoPro, my camcorder, and I can have it face down, uh, you know, where the viewers, which will be y'all, uh, um, that can actually see exactly what I'm doing uh, as I'm doing it. I also have two power banks. Uh, I got the Vinci, uh And anyway, yeah, we got the big boy uh, anchor right here. I uh, power the GoPro and all that. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, let's jump into this video and let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna uh, just take y'all right on out here. Got a little bump right here. We're just gonna do this video right on out here. Plus, this right here kind of give you like a um, idea of what I'm working with. Yes, I'm on. Uh, pavement or not pavement but anyway uh yeah uh, it would be uh smoother but you know, i got kind of a rough surface here if you would so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the dolly and let's see what's so awesome about this tripod dolly all right so uh here we have the ultimate tripod dolly y'all got a Give my uh, y'all here, but anyway, who's paying attention to that? Kitties, she's checking it out. Hey, peanut, see how do you two? All right, so uh, here's the ultimate tripod dolly. Pretty nice day outside, too. Yeah. Anyway, uh, right here we have the laptop stand. I made, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all uh, here in a moment uh, how I had made all this stuff here. Uh, it's a part one to this uh, video. And uh, hopefully uh, there will be if I don't get blown away. But anyway, yeah, this right here is the laptop right here. Obviously, we have the LG uh, tablet, nothing too special. We have the uh, newer light right here. All right, you still roaming, ain't you? But well, anyway, uh, yeah, um, this right here is. I had uh, designed this right here all by myself for all my ideas and everything. And uh, yeah, it's 
really neat and um i'm gonna tell y'all how i had made this <clears throat> all right we have the basin which is from a chair and we got a bolt right down there to uh, keep the pole from slipping through if you would then we have some pipe there's one of the um, power banks right here by Ventic. You just take that. Boom. This piece of plastic here, uh, it came from a wheelchair, which is the wheelchair. It's way out there. Anyway, yeah, it was uh, uh, the side um, parts of the uh, wheelchair. So then, uh, yeah, we have that one. The other power bank, it's uh, just, as y'all just seen, it's inside. <clears throat> but, you know, now I have made uh, this right here, uh, this front, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, I had heated this up with my um, heat gun. Yeah, then I just bend it. To the shape and right here you have just uh, some nuts and bolts right there this right here it come off of a, a chair and uh, over here on this side you have this thumb knob right here and you can uh, also move this uh, here up or down let's see what else we have here um, yeah, we just have like a little extension pole right here, right here, look, right there. So yeah, this pipe here, it's uh, bigger. I don't remember like the size of it or whatever, but that's that. And then this here, it's uh, just a little bit uh, smaller. I drilled uh, some holes, as you can see. For the mountain position or whatever and I can also uh, take this uh, pipe here out and I can flip it around and then make this here about maybe uh, maybe two taller so yeah so yeah that right there is pretty cool we have the uh, trusty Manfrotto C clamp here nothing too special then uh, right over here we have the uh, Manfrotto articulating arm my frame here yeah there we go yeah this right here is uh, that there really 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 awesome arm yeah so this right here is where all the magic uh, comes from or where most of the magic uh, happens and uh, yeah I really do like this arm uh, but yeah yeah like I said we got the light we got the um, LG tablet and we have the laptop uh, you can mount all kind of stuff to this here and it's really amazing um, like I say I've I just come up with this idea um you know on my own and i'm really glad that i came up with this idea because uh, to be honest with you uh, i can use this right here you can also use this right here for um you know like if you're in bed or whatever yes you can use this while you're in bed i'm gonna be making a new one uh for my wife uh i just got like some uh Hey kitty kitty. Video coming soon. I just got some old uh, scrap metal here, some old steel, a bunch of random, as you may call it, junk. Uh but your junk is my treasure. <laughs> yeah, video coming soon. So uh yeah, that's what we have right there. But uh yeah, you can use this in the bed. You can use it um, anywhere, 
anywhere imaginable. Uh, you can't use it in a car or on a school bus or whatever, but anyway. Yeah, uh, this right here is the ultimate tripod dolly. So right now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get the uh, Manfrotto tripod. There you see it. I'm a big boy So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move this over here. And I'm gonna get y'all some uh, better footage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's do it. Here's where it's bolted up to, right down here. Y'all can see that, right? And you got this. All right, so uh, here is the underside construction here. This right here, uh, came from the um, chair. This right here is where the seat was at and all that. And uh, this right here is the part that actually articulates. Oh yeah, and uh, we got some information right here, all right? <laughs> all right, so uh, here on my DIY mountain brack, bracket, uh, um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drilling a few holes in here and uh, just to give uh, this here a little, so it can be a little bit more spacious. So there's our holes that we just made. If I want to take this thumbnail out, all I would have to do is, is I would just, I can get it in frame. I can just take that and there you go. All right, so uh, now I done made the holes bigger. What I'm going to show y'all is how to make, when I say a wing nut, I have a video on this, but a lot of people, they uh, didn't like it, but that's fine with me. 
what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna make a wing nut. I, I'm just gonna call it a spinner wing nut. I don't know. Uh, if there's something like this out there, uh, let me know. I took a uh, bolt, something like this right here, and I cut the uh, head off of it. But what I do is I take that wing nut, and what I do is I put it on the head of the uh, bolt right here. Clean up the threads. See how them threads are kind of gooey looking? You don't want to go too crazy with the... Um, with the vise here on the threads how well this wants to go on now if i was to have trouble getting this nut here off what i like to use is is my uh ratcheting wrench and to also help clean the threads up and this right here will uh you know kind of uh work the threads it uh that's how easy that is now all right so now we have a new wing nut all you want to do is just take it spin it on as you see it now uh runs on there like butter so uh i just want to give y'all a quick look at this here all right uh as you can see like right here where i had gave it uh a little bit of sawdust and that right there is going to act as a wood filler i had taken some uh glue now we got a nice uh surface i'm gonna have to go over where i put like the sawdust i'm trying to fill uh this hole in here joke there somewhere here's what we got done here i'm gonna have to go back over uh some of these holes here but uh yeah it almost kind of looks like this piece of wood uh that's right there we got that right there done so to me it looks pretty good i wish that i didn't have to fill these holes and see if i try to do something like this here the glue it well that time it didn't do it but anyway um uh, sometimes it just wants to you know not act right once it dries you won't uh it'll it'll pretty much uh blend in or whatever.